Good morning to everybody out there. It's Frank today, late January. Again, my name is Frank. Uh, I know in a couple of my past videos I haven't actually introduced myself, but my name is Frank. Um, I'm going to talk today about my favorite beverage, Sherba Mate. Now, there's so much to talk about this particular drink, um, but I'm going to focus on two different, let's make that three different things, and I'm going to try to make this video as short as possible, um, but three different things about this drink. I'm going to talk about the four elements, what I call the four elements of the drink itself, and then I'm going to talk about the parts or the mate wear, as Dave Mate over at the Circle of Drink website uh, calls mate wear, the the gourd, the bombisha, all the equipment used to actually consume the mate. And then I'll talk a little bit about the effects of mate, how it makes me feel personally and how other people have kind of described the feeling that drinking sherba mate gives them. Let me pour myself a little bit more water here. So, to get going, um, talk about the four elements of Sherba Mate. Now I'm pouring the fourth element, or I should say a third element in the list that I'm going to go in, into my gourd right now, which is water. That's my third element in my list. And you can see here, kind of hopefully in the camera, how there's some bubbles there on the side where the straw is. And bubbles come up as you pour the hot water in there. That, that's how you know there's still a lot of good flavor and nutrients left in the herb itself. So the first element is the herb itself, the sherba, the yerba, depending on how you speak Spanish. It is spelled Y-E-R-B-A. And that's the leaves and often stems of the plant Ilex paraguariensis. I'm uh, probably not pronouncing that quite right. It's a type of holly tree that's grown in South America. It's caffeinated naturally. It has tons of nutrients and all kinds of good stuff to it. Theobromine, the same stuff in chocolate, that sort of makes you feel elated, happy. And uh, theo theophylline, the same stuff you find in green tea or other types of tea. Um, theophylline, theobromine, caffeine, those three have a unique combination in this, in this sherba, the yerba, that give it its unique flavor and effects. So that's the first element, the yerba. Second element is the object into which you pour the sherba, or the gourd, or the mate, the, sh the sherba mate. That's where it gets its name from. It's basically a cup herb. And so this is a wooden mate or wooden gourd, and you could have other types of uh, gourds, and I'll talk about that later. But uh, this is my favorite one right now. Second element, the gourd or the mate. Third element, water. And when you're preparing the mate, most people will, of course, put the mate itself, the sherba, into the gourd or the mate, uh, put it at an angle, and then pour some cool water into the hole that's left by the angle that you set the mate, the sherba, in. Now, the cool water, or room temperature water, I have a little bit, of course, here in my bottle, um, that helps to protect the sherba, all the nutrients and everything inside the the herb itself. Um, because when you pour hot water in, if you pour the hot water in directly, it'll burn, in a matter of speaking, it'll burn the mate, the sherba, and some of the nutrients will be lost in the process. Also, pouring hot water directly on the sherba will make it taste even more bitter, and it's kind of a un very unappealing bitter taste when you do that. So it's recommended pour cold water in there first. And so once you pour the cold water in there, let it sit at an angle, you'll slowly sort of tilt it to a level state and let that cold water seep into the to the sherba itself for a minute or two. And then you'll take your bombisha, the fourth element, the bombilla, if you speak Spanish with uh, you know when you actually say a Y sound. Uh, it's either bombisha, bombilla. You put that in there, you sort of mold it 
into the water hole as it's called and you kind of just let it sit there at an angle and you'll be drinking from that and then before you drink it once that cool water is soaked up then you'll get your hot water from your thermos that you have prepared and of course pour in your first one this is actually probably like my fifth one or something like that because um, I've been drinking this for a little while and the servidor that is you the, pre the person preparing the mate and usually the servidor is allowed to move the straw or bombisha around but other people shouldn't be touching it the servidor will take the first drink I don't know if you could hear that slurping sound. And slurping sound means that you've drank all the, the water out. And then Serbador will take another gourd full or so and pour some more water in there, take another drink. Because those first two or three gourds are going to be really strong and bitter. You want a smooth running mate when you pass it over to the next person. And that's generally how it's done when people drink in a group. Is there'll be one person designated as a Serbador, the server, and they'll be the ones responsible for um, actually preparing the mate and maintaining it. Excuse me. And um, they'll start it up, take the first couple of drinks, and then they'll fill it up again, hand it over to the person, usually clockwise motion, person on their left. And they'll take a drink, they'll finish it, hand it back, etc. Keeps going that way. And everybody just has their conversation and everything and enjoys their company and their mate. So that's a quick overview of the four elements. Again, the four elements are the sherba, the mate or gourd, the water that's poured inside, and the bombisha. Now there might be a couple of extra elements when you really think about it. There's the thermos or um, flask in which you keep your hot water. And then there's the kettle, of course, in which you heat your hot water. But that's getting kind of picky, uh, in my opinion, because when you're actually drinking, there's only the four elements involved. That's what's in your hands, and that's what goes into your body. Those four elements. Now, just a little bit real quick about the different mate ware. Um, basically, the mate ware are the pieces of equipment used when drinking the mate. You got the thermos, I got mine here labeled circle of drink sticker. Check out their site. It's really awesome. They also sell some really good shibamate there. My favorite from them is Mission, the Mission Mate. It's a typical Argentine flavored uh, organic fair trade mate. So even though it's a little bit pricey in terms of mate, it's really good stuff. Trust me, it's good stuff. I'm drinking some Nobleza Gaucha today. It's a different brand, uh, not technically organic, kind of smoky flavored, but still pretty good. Um, so that's one piece of the mate ware. This is of course a thermos and there's different types or flask. This one's an all stainless steel one. It's over a liter in capacity. I have another one that's exactly one liter in capacity that's a little smaller and um, that one is right here also has a circle of drink sticker on it this one also has a screw top on it and of course most thermoses come with their own little lid that also doubles as a cup you could use that as a gourd if you want instead of carrying a separate gourd um, not highly recommended but if you want to carry less stuff it'll work so you could use that as a gourd and so that's another piece of your mat they wear is the gourd. There's another wooden one that I bought from Circle of Drink last year. And I have a couple of natural ones. These are calabash gourds. This one I bought from Guayaki last year or a couple of years ago. I think it was early last year. Um, has a carving on it of a bird with a cross. And it has some writing in Spanish from the that the art artist wrote on there. I can't really read it, but uh, can't read Spanish very well anymore and this one is a sort of fancy one with a metal rim I don't know if that's aluminum or stainless steel or what that is but it has a metal rim on it and the metal pillars 
and it's kind of twisted into these little feet and bound with a ring on the bottom. Natural gourds, wooden and especially the calabash gourds, will kind of uh, seep up the flavor of the mate as you use it. And actually it's recommended when you before you first use it, a brand new gourd, that you season it. And there's other videos on how to do that, but that's the recommendation. And if you're new to drinking mate, I don't personally recommend you go with a calabash gourd or a wooden gourd, maybe a wooden gourd but um, they require more maintenance to them uh, and you may not be patient enough yet uh, to get one of those so I don't recommend those right off the bat maybe a wooden one here's a ceramic mug a tiny a small mug that a friend of mine Mike made it made in college and gave to me many years ago I use this one as a, a gourd because it has the nice shape to it and it's fairly small in capacity works really well. I like to use this one when I get want just the flavor of the mate itself because it does not change the flavor profile of the sherba at all. So when I'm trying a new mate out, I'll usually use this one um, because since it's ceramic, uh, it doesn't add any additional flavor like the wooden or calabash cords do. And here's another one. It's a uh, silicone one that I also bought from Circle of Drink last year. Uh, it's flexible, obviously. Um, has a little hole here to rest your bombisha in, and when you're done drinking, you can just turn it inside out to empty out your sherba and just rinse it off, and you're ready to go. So that's a cool one for when you're on the go. And then, of course, you got your bombishas. That's another piece of your mate wear. Got a whole bunch of different ones here. Here's the one that I'm basically using right now. It has a spoon shape on it, stainless steel and brass. Uh, most of mine are stainless steel and brass. Here's another one. This one has some slits on the end of it. Uh, another one that's stainless steel and brass has a triple filter on it. has a spring on the outside, a mesh filter beneath that, and then beneath that it's another, just this tubing that has some slits in it. Works really well for uh, high powder uh, mates, like uh, gaucho cuts, like, um, like canarias really popular one. Another spring type, this one actually pops off really easily, easy to clean, stainless steel. There's another spring type that the spring doesn't come off but it is flexible. Basic stainless steel bombisha. And here's a natural cane bombisha. Um, really good for, um, you know, it's a natural one. Just you, If you grow your own bamboo you could cut off a, a section of it and just drill some holes in it and somehow I think this one was bent like they applied heat to it or something and bent it but anyway it's a nice little natural cane bombisha I use it occasionally but it's not my favorite so that's the mat they wear now for the actual effects of the mat day itself most people will say it's energizing a lot like coffee but most people will also say that if you're a coffee drinker or soda drinker and you're used to the caffeine, um, but you still get a sort of crash from the caffeine, especially with coffee or energy drinks, after a couple hours, that energy level just declines very sharply and suddenly. Mm. Excuse me. Um, with sherba mate, that usually is not the case. The energy level is very sustainable with sherba mate. You could drink it all day long, you know, keep the same gourd, just let it sit for a little while and come back to it, you know, half an hour, an hour later and drink some more from it. And it keeps going all day and you never crash because you keep drinking it. Or if you just have some in the morning and, you know, you don't drink any the rest of the day, then you still have that maintained energy. And it's not a jittery energy like coffee. Um, it's a very relaxed energy. The thing about mate is it has caffeine in it, like, like coffee does, of course. But it also has theobromine, which is in, in chocolate, so it gives you that elated feeling like chocolate does. And it has theophylline, um, like green tea, black tea, the teas have in it. 
has tons of antioxidants, vitamins and minerals. So it's a really healthy drink. It makes you feel good uh, through all the various natural chemicals found in it. To me, the biggest thing about mate is it gives me a sense of not only relaxation physically, but also a sense of openness. It helps to open up my, my heart and mind and spirit to other people, complete strangers, more willing to talk to people, I meet on the street, in the store, where have you. Um, met some good people online uh, that also drink Sheba Mate. And it helps me personally to connect with the earth and the world as a whole in general. It makes me feel just more connected to people. It makes me very mindful of others and their, their plights, their successes, uh, their lives from day to day. It just, you know, I feel connected. Even though we may not speak, we may not know each other even exist, uh, I feel connected to the people. Since I've been drinking Sherba Mate, um, well, it's been over a year now since I started drinking it, but I started making these videos, like this one you're watching on YouTube right now. It's making me make, made me a lot more social, a lot more open, braver. Um, I've lost a lot of weight. I've lost over or around 40 pounds since I started drinking. Um, not just because of the mate, but it does help. Um, it's a really good drink. You should give it a try, whether you like it or not. You may not like the first sip you you drink. Um, give it a give it a try. See see how it makes you feel. Maybe you'll like the feeling that it gives you, but not the taste, and you'll get used to the taste over time. I don't know, but it's definitely worth a try. Um, I highly recommend it. The video is getting kind of long, so I'm going to pretty much end it here. Um, if you have any questions for me about Sherba Mate, feel free to leave me a comment. My username here on YouTube is the same username I have on Facebook. So if you want to look me up on Facebook and friend me there, you could do that. Um, that's about it, really. Um, yeah, salute. Keep spreading the love with or without Mate. Keep a positive outlook on life. Love your stranger. Love your enemy. And uh, keep on living the good life. Be kind to one another. Later.